Story time. A little while ago, I had the absolute pleasure of dealing with the very professional and very prompt Corsair customer service reps. I had a Corsair H100i Elite Capellix AIO in my gaming PC, nine RGB fans and Commander Pro, as well as an RGB hub to plug everything together. And unfortunately, the pump, as well as a few of the fans connected to the radiator, all just stopped working. No idea why, just turned on my PC one morning and they were gone. They weren't even being detected inside the IQ software anymore, and with troubleshooting, replugging everything back in, and reinstalling IQ and the drivers manually, I was lost. The AIO at this point was years old. I got it brand new when they first released in 2020, and it worked wonderfully throughout. I never had an issue up until this point. So with a dead pump and fans that weren't spinning or lighting up with RGB, my CPU wasn't getting the cooling it needed to keep it running. And I had to switch it out for some generic basic air cooler to keep me up and running. I got in touch with Corsair as their products do come with a five year warranty. And though it was bought from Curry's, an electronic retailer here in the UK, what did I have to lose, right? The AIO was well within that time frame in terms of age at around three years old. And well, I must say what happened next was just so extreme impressive. Within a day or so, a customer service rep got back in touch with me asking for more details, asking for serial numbers, that kind of thing, which were provided. And the first thing they wanted to try was to switch out the Commander Pro. So they sent me a free of charge new Commander XT, as of course the pros are now discontinued. This only went so far though. I managed to get the fans back working and detected in IQ, but still no pump. So back to email communication with Corsair and the rep that was dealing with my support ticket. And the next thing that I was offered was a brand new AIO kit, which was the Corsair H100i Elite Capellix XT, complete with a new Commander XT to again plug all of my fans into, and it worked. And I'm all back up and running thanks to Corsair's amazing customer service team and the rep that I had the pleasure of dealing with. What more, during this whole process, I did take a trip for two weeks to New Zealand and Corsair even held out a couple of weeks for the delivery of the new cooler to take place when I was back in the country. This experience in its entirety has definitely turned me into a Corsair customer for life. But of course, what kind of PC hardware video would this be here on YouTube if we didn't talk about the cooling capabilities of the H100i in my system now, would it? Inside of my PC, I'm currently running an AMD Ryzen 5800X, and I must say throughout all of my testing so far, it is a very hot processor. Well, as you can see from the images on screen, during working hours, doing a bit of writing and some Photoshop work, having the Formula One qualifying on my second monitor, I'm hitting around the 62 degree mark. Now I will say that inside of IQ, I do have a balanced fan profile set, though on screen are also the results from having the fan profile set to extreme. I could keep this setting turned on and get some more airflow into the case, but then I am sacrificing what I think is a fairly quiet system for an extra few degrees of temperature. I think I'd rather have the quieter system for when I'm working and really ramp up the fan curve when the temps are getting a little bit out of control while gaming. Running a 10 minute test on each Cinebench test for the single core and multi-core returned some very interesting results for sure. While the single core test didn't really hit above the 80 degree mark, the multi-core test hit that 91 degrees. Now of course I can't see many people working under this kind of load, you might be, though sustainable as it may be, be, it's eye-opening just how hot the 5800X can run. I'm not worried though about my PC, I don't really power my CPU like this on a consistent basis. Moving on to some gaming, things started looking a little hotter. I played a few rounds of Battlefield 2042 and ended up hitting over 90 degrees when set on a balanced fan curve inside of the IQ software. I didn't see this as being worrying though, it was an occasional blip, and as you can see from the left-hand side column in the readings here, the temperature of the processor was skirting around the 71 degree mark anyway for most of the time. So there you go, some temperatures that I am experiencing with the H100i Elite Capellix XT on my 5800X. And I must say, I don't think they're anywhere near as bad as some people were going to scream about in the comments section. But I am happy, Corsair provided me with an extremely fantastic service, which to be honest, was all this video was meant to be about. So sorry it has gone on for so long, I just wanted to highlight Corsair and their fantastic customer service. Temperatures though aren't bad either. Of course, there will be so many ways to be able to reduce those temperatures further, which unfortunately I am not knowledgeable enough to do. After all, I don't really partake in any overclocking or under vaulting. I just like plugging things in and having them work. And in this case, the Corsair H100i Elite Capellix XT is working extremely well for me. 
Thank you very much for checking out this video about the Corsair H100i Elite Capellix XT and also the experience we've had with Corsair's customer service team. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below if you've ever had a fantastic customer service experience from a PC gaming brand before. We'd like to hear your good, some good news in the comment section. Let's turn this into a positive video. As I say, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.